Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna explain about WordPress, WordPress Pro, and its function. Basically, this is, this is my translation project of making videos about WordPress tutorial. Before we jump into the tutorial itself, let me explain about definition of WordPress. WordPress is a computer assisted translation, or we could say CAT tool that aids in the translation process by providing various features and functionalities to assist translator. It is software program designed to enhance efficiency and productivity in translation tasks by automating repetitive tasks, managing translation memory, and ensuring consistent terminology usage. In this screen, we can see this is a WordPress application. So how do we use WordPress? First of all, we need to create a project. This is a menu of WordPress. To begin, we need to create a project to start our translation. So we could call the project as you wish, but I will call it as test. For example, this is our project. Then there is a first option here about source file. What is source file? Source file is a file that we wanted to translate into target language let me add the files so here is the file of what we're gonna translate it so after we add the files we can click create project so we need to wait to do it. okay uh, finally it's done then we can open the project so here is the example of what we are going to translate the source language is english and we we will translate it into indonesian so here is the preview of the presentation so why we use wordpress instead of copy paste because we wanted to save time so after we open the project, the file, we need to go into translation memory. What is translation memory? Translation memory is a database that stores previously translated segments of text, such as sentence, paragraph, or phrases. So in here, we, we can see that I don't have any translation memory because this is my first time using WordPress to translate a project. So, after we have, before we uh, translate, we need to create one of translation memories. So we need to name it first, like the English, Indonesian. You can use any name as you want it. So this sort of language is English, then we target language is Indonesian. So why we use translation memories? Because after we translate this document, if we want it, to translate another document we don't have we already have the memory from previous documents so we don't need to go all over again translating from scratch okay here okay I already make a translation memory now we go into the project so how do we use the wordpress it's literally uh, not difficult. So like uh we, we use a definition like by passing. What is mean by passing? Here. So uh, this is how we translate it. So we in the screen we can see the text we are translated. So after we done the translation of the section, we can click enter, or maybe we can validate it. Uh, then uh, the text are changed. 
So it's easy then if we we go into copy paste the Indonesian English or English into Indonesian. Instead we copy paste, we just go in here, then it's done. Next translation is Then we validate it again. Ah, and then it's done. It's literally not difficult to translate. We can do this the same for all other. After you translate, you can validate it by checklist all the section. So maybe one of you was maybe one of you say why not translation instead because it's uh assisting tools not giving a translation about it we need to do it ourselves so that's all about the tutorial of using wordpress pro thank you for your attention see you next time